Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the Stark side. While you're here, please support the channel by hitting the like button. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe as well as the notification bell. Today we'll be talking about the Marvel Legends Armadillo Wave Gamer vs. Spider-Man Miles Morales. I'm really excited about this figure right off the bat. This looks great. We got this slightly different look for the packaging for Gamer vs. figures. But anyway, up front we have the logo for the Spider-Man Miles Morales PlayStation game. We also got that Gamer vs. logo here. And at the top we have a nice image of the Spider logo for Miles Morales. At the side we have nice artwork of Miles Morales as Spider-Man. Same on the other side. And at the back, we have a brief bio of the character. If you want to read it, you can pause the video. And here we have the other figures from the wave. Alright, let's get Spider-Man out of the packaging. And here we have Miles Morales in his classic suit from the PlayStation game. Before we talk about anything else, just a brief history on this version of Miles. This Miles Morales first appeared in Marvel's Spider-Man PS4 game back in 2018, where like in the comics, he gets bitten by a spider from Oscorp and gains similar spider powers like Peter. He next appears in his own game, Spider-Man Miles Morales in 2020 last year, where he discovers he has more abilities like bioelectricity and his camouflage. However, unlike in the comics, Peter doesn't die for Miles to succeed him as Spider-Man, and Miles even trains under him to become a great Spider-Man and a hero in his own right. There are things that I really love about this figure and there are also some things that I don't like about it. But before we go over the figure itself, let's go over the accessories. Besides the Build-A-Figure piece and the alternate head sculpt, Miles comes with four pairs of alternate hands. So we have the fisted hands, flipping hands, wall crawling hands, and the venom blast hands. Taking a closer look at this fisted hand, so we're getting this nice black and red deco here. This is sculpted very nicely. Nice details on the glove here. I'm loving this. We have the flipping hands here as well. Nice consistent paint apps so far. Consistent sculpt as well, consistent details. And we have the wall crawling hands here. Finally, it's been some time since I have seen wall crawling hands for spider figures. Uh, anyway, nice black and red deco here again. This is sculpted very nicely. However, one thing that I noticed about these hands is that they're kind of on the big side for Miles. Uh, looking at them from a distance, they do seem larger than normal. But for me, it's not that big of an issue. The inclusion of the wall crawling hands makes up for it quite a lot. We also got this Venom Blast hand, so these look very cool. I'm loving this translucent yellow plastic that Hasbro used for these hands. The bioelectricity effects all over these hands are done very well. Yeah, this looks very great. I'm really excited to do some cool Venom Blast poses, you know? And changing the hands is very easy. You just pop off this one and pour it in another one. Taking a closer look at the figure itself, starting with the head sculpt, I am loving this masked head sculpt that we've got right here. I mean, just look at it. We're getting a lot of details and texturing all over this head sculpt here. The web pattern is sculpted and it's raised like what they did with the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man suit. But for this figure, there's this level of subtlety with the web pattern. So I think what I mean is the web lines aren't that thick, so I like that. The lenses are sculpted as well, so that's great. The paint apps are done very nicely as well. Especially the red paint here. The red paint on the web lines aren't messy. Uh, they're not lacking in places as well, you know. Man, this looks great. And looking at the alternate unmasked Miles Morales head sculpt, so changing the head sculpt isn't that easy. Um, you got this separate neck piece, so when you pop off the masked head sculpt, you gotta be careful. Sometimes I think the neck piece here will come off when I pop off the head as well. So yeah, you gotta be careful. Anyway, here we have the unmasked Miles Morales, so this looks good. However, comparing it with this image of Miles from the PlayStation game, as head sculpts go, this isn't that bad, but it doesn't really capture the likeness of the character from the game, you know? But it does look decent. The paint apps are clean all over it so far. The sculpt also looks good. The hair sculpt is also done nicely. 
but yeah it just doesn't really look like Miles so personally I will display this Miles Morales figure with the masked head sculpt instead looking at the rest of the figure I am loving what we're getting here like with the masked head sculpt we're getting a lot of details and a lot of texturing all over this figure her blinds are sculpted very nicely and the spider logo here is sculpted as well I love that the sculpt for this figure has been consistently great so far. The paint apps are also consistently amazing, you know, especially the red here. So the red here isn't messy. Like I said, it's clean. Uh, it's, it's not lacking in some places and it's also not um, bleeding into the black. Man, I love this figure. Even when you bend the figure backward, the sculpt doesn't just end suddenly, so it continues on. I love that. They really didn't hold back on the details on this figure. I really like this modern take on the classic Miles Morales suit from the comics. Looking at the back of the figure, nice sculpted web lines and spider logo again. However, one thing you do need to notice, or one thing you do need to note, is that unlike the front of the figure, when you bend the figure forward, the sculpt of the spider logo doesn't continue on. So yeah, this part's a bit of a bummer, but we'll probably be seeing more of the front of the figure than the back. Anyway, the arms are done very nicely as well. Pretty good sculpt here. The flat black all over this figure is very good. Nice details here and there. Yeah. And looking at the rest of the figure, so this part of the suit's design is just mostly black. But man, the details on this figure are done pretty nicely. And if you look closely, you can also see the texturing. Wow. I also just want to point out that this figure uses pinless technology. So yeah, that's great. Overall, I'm loving the sculpt and paint apps that we're getting on this Miles Morales figure. I guess in terms of the sculpt and paint apps, my only gripes are the unmasked head sculpt. It doesn't really capture the likeness of Miles Morales from the game, but it is still decent, you know. And also the spider logo on the back doesn't continue on, but overall, I, I love it. I love, what I, I love what I'm seeing. Let's go over the articulation for this Miles Morales figure. So Miles can look up that far, that's great, but he doesn't really look down very far. His head does rotate. There's some forward-backward shifting motion. There's also some great neck pivot. I like that. He's also got these butterfly joints, but the thing is, they don't really offer a significant range of movement, uh, but I'm still glad that he included it in the articulation. His arms can move upward only that far, so it doesn't really reach the 90 degree mark. This is probably the most frustrating part of this figure for me, his arms can also move downwards as well, though not all the way. His shoulders do rotate 360. He has a bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, nice pinless joints there. His wrist can rotate and move up and down. So this wrist movement is the same for all of his alternate hands. He has an ab crunch forward and backward as well. He has a waist swivel. His legs can move upward that far and backwards a decent amount. His hips do move outward very far, that's great. He has an upper thigh cut, double jointed knees that bend in all the way, that's great. His ankles do move up and down as well, and he also has ankle pivot. There are two things I wish they added for this articulation, so I wish they included a diaphragm pivot like what they did with the classic retro Spidey. And I also wish they included some drop down legs. Uh, I think it would offer much more movement and give us better poses for this figure. Anyway, for some figure comparisons, here's the PlayStation Miles Morales Spider-Man next to the classic Spider-Man from the Retro Wave. So yeah, I think I think these look great together. I mean, I, I usually treat my classic Spider-Man as a PlayStation Spider-Man. So I think these two look great side by side. And here's the Miles Morales Spider-Man next to the MCU Spider-Man from the What If Wave. So yeah, they're not really in the same universe, but with all of these rumors about the Spider-Verse, um, it could be a possibility in the future. So that's my review of the Marvel Legends Gamer vs. Spider-Man Miles Morales. This figure has amazing sculpt, spectacular paint apps, and just a friendly level of articulation. 
I do wish they did more with that, but anyway, I really love this figure. And if you're wondering where I got this figure, I pre-ordered this figure from an online toy store here in the Philippines called My Plastic Party. So if you want to check that out, there's a link in the description below. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think of this figure. Let me know what you think of my review. Please leave a comment below. And if you like this video, hit that like button. And if you still haven't, hit that subscribe as well as the notification bell. You can also follow me on social media. Links in the description below. And I'll see you guys in the next video.